So how young is too young to get in trouble with the law? One state representative believes children 12 and younger should no longer be prosecuted for most violent crimes, no matter the evidence. Our political special Sean Boyd joins us here tonight. And Sean, this does sound a bit controversial. Yeah, it essentially legalizes all crimes but murder for these kids. Mm -hmm. Supporters say kids shouldn't have to enter the criminal justice system to access services. Opponents agree, but they say the bill provides no alternative either and will do more harm than good. State analysts say about 500 kids between the ages of 10 and 12 enter Colorado's criminal justice system every year. Under a bill by Representative Serena Gonzalez Gutierrez, those kids could no longer be prosecuted or even detained for any crime other than murder. So we're talking about 10, 11, and 12 year olds. I just want to be very clear. We're talking about children. The bill also prevents kids 13 and under from being charged as adults and 14 year olds only if it's a class one or two felony. Gonzalez Gutierrez says those kids need help, not detention. So how do we actually address their needs rather than putting them through additional traumas? We see attempted murders, sex assaults, stabbings. Boulder District Attorney Michael Doherty heads up the Colorado District Attorney's Council. All 22 elected DAs oppose the bill that they argued does a disservice to victims and offenders. If a 12-year-old boy rapes a 10-year-old girl next door, we owe it to her and her family to ensure we support the victim and provide them with the resources that they need, and also to make sure that the 12-year-old accepts responsibility and never commits that act again. Doherty says the juvenile justice system dispenses the very services Gonzalez Gutierrez wants, but he says her bill doesn't provide. And leave them to a child welfare system that's currently overwhelmed with the cases they do have and not equipped or funded to do this additional work. He insists kids who get help in the juvenile system are less likely to enter the adult system. Gonzalez Gutierrez disagrees. When young children become involved in the system early on, that they are then put on this trajectory of becoming even more involved. Groups representing Colorado counties and cities also oppose the bill, saying the kids will end up in the child welfare system, which is overwhelmed and not equipped to manage many of them. Representative Gonzalez Gutierrez plans to amend the bill and set up a task force to identify services for these kids. The DA's council and law enforcement say a change of this magnitude should go to the Colorado Commission on Criminal and Juvenile Justice, a nonpartisan group made up of all stakeholders in the justice system. The bill did get its first hearing yesterday. Yesterday, mm -hmm. testimony lasted like five hours. At the end, there was no vote. Five hours, an indicator of just how controversial yeah. this is. Yeah, very much so. All right, Sean, thanks. I know you'll keep, keep us posted.